Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's quite easy to understand how a brake in a normal bicycle works when you just see it, right? As soon as you apply the brake, the brake shoes press against the wheels for stopping them. It's very evident that the bicycle brake is completely mechanical in operation. But do you think that we have the same setup for motorcycles and cars? If not, then how do the brakes in them operate? Well, braking in most motorcycles and cars are achieved by means of hydraulic braking system, which is our topic for today. As the name suggests, the hydraulic braking system achieves braking with the help of hydraulic fluid. Hydraulic fluid is preferred because it is considered to be incompressible. When you apply force on the fluid, it will not compress, but it tends to transfer the force in accordance to Pascal's law, which makes it an ideal medium in the braking system. The hydraulic braking system was patented in the year 1970. It was first used in passengers' cars in 1921. Based on the type of frictional contact area, hydraulic brakes are of two types, drum hydraulic brakes and disc hydraulic brakes. First, let's start with the drum hydraulic brake system. This type of brake is also known as internal expanding brakes. From the name, it is quite clear that the braking occurs when the brake shoes present inside expand against the brake drum. A typical drum hydraulic braking system consists of a brake pedal, a reservoir, a master cylinder, brake lines, wheel cylinder, brake drum, and brake shoes. A brake pedal is a driver-operated lever. It is connected with the master cylinder by means of a connecting rod. The reservoir is used for storing brake fluid, and it is connected to the master cylinder. The master cylinder consists of a piston that pushes out the hydraulic fluid when the brake pedal is operated. It converts the mechanical force of the pedal into hydraulic pressure. Brake lines carry the fluid from the master cylinder to the wheel cylinder. Wheel cylinders have two pistons and are placed inside the brake drum. It receives hydraulic fluid through brake lines. It converts the hydraulic pressure into a mechanical force. A brake drum is a rotating member attached to the wheels and it houses the wheel cylinder springs and the brake shoes. Brake shoes are operated by the piston in the wheel cylinder which expand and create friction with the drum for stopping the vehicle. Now let's see how all these components work together as a braking system. When the driver operates the brake pedal, the connecting rod operates the piston in the master cylinder. The piston forces the fluid in the master cylinder through the brake lines to the wheel cylinders. When the fluid reaches the wheel cylinder, it pushes the piston and the piston in turn makes the brake shoe expand against the brake drum. Due to the friction created by the brake shoes and the brake drum, the vehicle stops. When it comes to disc hydraulic system, it has a disc brake setup instead of the brake drum. It has a rotating disc that is attached to the wheel hub. There is a clamp-like component called the caliper, which has pistons on either side. When the brake is applied, the pistons are pressed against the discs for stopping the vehicle. This is how a hydraulic brake system works. If the master cylinder is divided internally into two for transferring the brake to both front and rear wheels, then the brake system is known as a dual acting hydraulic brake system. The hydraulic brakes are very much superior to the mechanical brakes in various aspects. They are quick in response. They encounter less wear as it is not a completely mechanical system. Less effort is required when compared with mechanical brakes. This system also has some disadvantages. If there is a possibility of leakage in the system, the system can fail. Exposure to high temperature conditions can affect the property of the fluid. Presence of air in brake lines affects braking action as well. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I think you're clear about how hydraulic brakes work. We'll meet up again in the next one. Until then, bye.